Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys read in the title, here's another concert vlog. Today, I'm seeing Lil Nas X live. I'm so hyped because this is now the second concert I've been to this year. First, we saw Pitbull. If you saw that vlog, comment down below. And now we're seeing Lil Nas. And Lil Nas X, ever since he blew up, he has been such a big inspiration of mine. Crazy coincidence too, because in my gender issues class, I actually just did a research paper and presentation that I got 100% on, thank you Lil Nas, um, about Lil Nas's impact on the gender and queer community. And I, I'm, oh my gosh, I just got reminded on everything I love about Lil Nas. It's crazy because when Old Town Road came out, you would think I would like it too, because you guys know I love horses, I love the Western style, the Western vibe, but I was never into him. I felt like the song got played out. The song was good after a while, I guess everyone overplayed it. And I always assumed that whatever type of music he would create, I wouldn't like it because I'm usually not that into rap music. But man, Lil Nas is an exception. I love his music. I think, I don't even remember how I, I came to be such a huge fan of Lil Nas. I think it started when he released Montero, Call Me By Your Name. I started to really know who he was because when Old Town Road came out, I was just like, oh, it's a new musician. But when he got all that backlash and he was receiving hate, he literally did not care and he literally continued to be himself. He didn't let anyone impact him or wherever direction he was going. He's just unapologetically himself. He doesn't care what anyone thinks about him. I look up to a lot of role models, celebrities, and like influencers that have that predisposition about themselves because they've gone through so much and whatever comes their way, it doesn't bother them because I think what they all strive to do is just make their fans proud and live life and I love that about Lil Nas. I also absolutely love Lil Nas X's humor, man. I have post notifications on for him for Twitter. And anytime I'm feeling down, I just gotta check my notifications and read whatever he's saying because he has me cracking up. I had to use Old Town Road and my love for Western fashion as an excuse to dress the way I did today. I can't wait to show you guys my outfit. If you're excited for this vlog as much as I am, I'm gonna be in the same room as Lil Nas X, guys. Like, that hasn't hit me yet. Oh my god, I'm gonna flip out when I'm there. But if you're excited, don't forget to like and subscribe, join the herd, and let's get started. So this is the fit. We've got the gold hat I got from Party City. And then we have this fringe set that I got on Amazon. I love it so much. Look, I'm gonna do a twirl. You saw that? And then we have these boots. And I know they're cute, man. But my feet are gonna be screaming tonight. At least when I pull up to see Lil Nas, I'm gonna sound like a horse. The fit also does well without the hat. This is what it looks like without. I could do this all day. And then look at these earrings I have. They're like a gold, trying to go for that gold aesthetic. These butterflies. And then I also have these gold rings, very cute, and the bracelet. Also with my look, I have a gold boa that I'm gonna wear, but it's sitting in my car because the feathers are shedding and I don't want them all over my house. But you're gonna see that soon. I'm gonna head over to my friend Jeff's house because his dad's driving us. Thank you, Paul. And we will be on our way. I took my horse to the Old Town Road. We're gonna ride it till we can no more. <laughs> <laughs> this is Savannah. She's a freaking queen, dude. She just did a photo shoot. I couldn't go to Little Notch without seeing a horse. So we had a photo shoot. Tell them who your new horse is. Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> his name's Gambler. Hi, Gambler. Isn't the, the halter fitting? She had to come and get some barn perfume before she left. Yes. <laughs> Guys, you know what's crazy? What got Lil Nas X famous was his country song. So what a coincidence. I love horses too. I ride horses like Lil Nas. Dude. So get me famous. <laughs> Just kidding, but isn't that cool? Cool coincidence. Uh, it's a sign. Why? Why is it I remember when I met you. I thought that you never already sent you. <laughs> We're here in line. For Lil Nas, we've got Jeff, Tina, Rosanna, and look at this. Man, this line's really long. We've got fellow people in cowboy hats. I'm wearing a jumpsuit, guys. Period this is one feet. update from my normal everyday flannel. Look, don't mind this. I love guys. the boots and the hat. Hey. And the pearl necklace. Is hey. that Gucci? Huh? It is Gucci. Just kidding. This is my outfit. We went for the gold aesthetic. Mary, I'm so I had sorry. the boa on. Oh. That you guys see. And we're sitting in the pit, so our hats luckily won't bother the pedestrians, so we're good. She's a liar. We're not sitting in the pit. No. I mean, I meant to say we're not sitting in the pit, so our hats won't bother the pedestrians. <laughs> my fit was very put together last minute. Jean jacket, very black on black. These are actually my concert pants. I wear these to a lot of concerts. And then hat, Amazon. Hey. <laughs> hey. Party City in 
H and M. Yes. Her boa is making it like all yes. snow today. <laughs> I love your outfits. You guys look awesome. Oh my God, where he's doing a theater performance. <laughs> this is beautiful. So they clear. They even um, carved out little knots on the top of the stage. You see him on the top? Oh my God. I'm playing. That <laughs> looks like him. <laughs> That they gave us. He wrote us a note. Pause to read it. It is almost like a theater play. Act it's... one. Act oh, two, wow. Act three. Wizard of Nas. Okay. Dancers. Oh, that's cool. He credits the ads. Ads. Outfit and stuff. I love the art style here. And then this is the Trevor Spirit. Project. Credits. And <laughs> that's all. Cool. When you move the Snapchat, it's supposed to animate him. <laughs>
little nut! Nah. Get the fuck up! <laughs> Shoes are coming off! Being brave comes at a high cost. This is only the beginning. There's more to be written.
was trying to get fucked up together. On a serious note, I just dropped a new song today. It's called Star Rock. These last three shows, I don't let a couple people come on the stage and twerk. Who gonna really come up here and go ass?
red hat. Love it. <laughs> We're back from Lil Nas. How did everyone feel? So really? good. Amazing. He put on a freaking show. Oh, Which I like that's what I want in the dancer feature. Yes, that was cute. <laughs> Scoop. Period, I love Scoop. Oh, my hair is lost in the Citadel. So good. Best song on the mimic, album. Mimic how you just did that. He said, guys, what's this song oh. where he goes? <laughs> my favorite was Montero because it literally takes place in hell. And then at the end of the song, he goes up to heaven and turns into a butterfly. I thought it was cute. But my favorite song is Scoop. Scoop, Scoop. Well, during one of the songs, um, Little Nas had his squirt out and he was squirting people. And I turned to Mia and I'm like, Mia, I got wet. And she's looking at me like, ooh. But I was saying, I swear, he it, the water reached me. <laughs> He's <laughs> lying. He wants to be noticed by Lil Nas so bad because he didn't pick him to go on stage to twerk. True, true, true. Hey, y'all. Do not worry. I did not forget to film an outro. After the concert, man, I was so exhausted that once I hit the pillow, I was rocked. But here I am. I want to recap with you guys and tell you everything I loved about it. Now, it has been a few days since the concert. As you guys see, I dyed my hair. Don't it look cute? Check out the vlog where I did dye my hair if you guys want to see the process. But anyway, let's Let's talk about my boy Lil Nas. That concert was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I loved it, man. He can really put on a show. The whole concert, as you guys saw, was designed like a play and it was called the wizard of nas i think that's what it was on the pamphlet so this whole performance was organized like you're sitting in a play and the theater that he performed at looked like a theater like the seating on the top that i showed you guys it wasn't at like a stadium where we saw pitbull or you'd see another celebrity and the venue was kind of small which i kind of like it it's like symbolism of his humble beginnings the seating was perfect because i could see him and no one was blocking him from my sight because i'm short and it sucks when you're short and you're at concerts because all you look at is the back of people's heads but i was good i got to see his beautiful self very clearly i also loved um in his performance that screen he utilized man industry baby was my favorite i felt like i was literally in a locker room like watching him perform i also loved how lone nas literally shouted out all his dancers there was one point where i didn't film because i was trying to save my camera's battery um it ended up dying anyway because i had to film on my phone he was introducing all his dancers and all his dancers had a solo they were freaking awesome oh my gosh and he credited the choreographer in the pamphlet i showed you guys which i liked too i love when performers make their background dancers part of the show well they are part of the show but they make them more important like they highlight them and i think that's really important it shows that he cares about his team and his performers and i just i loved it they were all awesome at the end of the concert when he closed with industry baby i actually have thank you jeff the confetti that he um he blew when he finished performing there's a blue butterfly a pink one two white ones <laughs> i don't know where i'm gonna put them but if you guys saw my room tour you guys know i love butterflies butterflies are such a positive symbol they mean positive change and i just i loved that um he came out of a cocoon and that when he sang um montero call me by your name he went from singing in hell and then he rose and turned into a butterfly i thought that was beautiful you guys know me and my superstitious coincidences i think that's a sign the way me and lil nas both love butterflies and they've been a huge symbol um recently especially in this year i've seen butterflies more and did you guys see our butterfly pavilion vlog i literally got to hold a butterfly now there's only a few things i didn't like about the concert which i thought was unique and i hope that maybe one of you guys can explain it to me in the comments down below but he didn't sing all of the songs in his montero album this is his first live tour right this is his first album well he has seven ep did he tour for that? I don't think he did. He has this album that he just came out and he didn't sing all of them. He didn't sing Dollar Sign Slime. He didn't sing One of Me. That's one of my favorites. He didn't sing Void. He didn't sing Life After Salem and he didn't sing Am I Dreaming? And I was thinking, I'm like, okay, maybe he didn't sing them because they featured other artists like Miley Cyrus, Elton John, but he sang Scoop that features Doja Cat and he had her rap part playing over the speakers and for industry baby he sang a part of jack harlow's song so why didn't he sing those songs oh my gosh i felt like the concert was so short and i didn't want it to end i got scared because when i saw the confetti butterflies fly i'm like don't tell me the concert's over but i was so sad i'm like this could have been a longer concert i felt like i was only there for an hour maybe but let me know why didn't he sing those other songs but a good thing was 
the day of his concert, which was Thursday, was also the day his song Star Walking was coming out. And he sang that song live. Dude, that's awesome. What a crazy coincidence that we got to see him the day his song came out. And he literally ended his concert singing industry, baby. And then the lights turn off and everyone's cheering for the janitor. And then Lil Nas comes back on stage and sings Star Walking. I love that song. Oh my gosh. That song is in my, my, my new phase right now. It's been blasting in my car. Same thing with Kick It by Lil Nas. I love that one too. Wish he performed that. Another thing that... Guys, you won't believe this. I see after the concert that I guess like a few group of kids um, maybe stayed around the building and and was maybe like in the back door to wherever Lil Nas was exiting out of. And Lil Nas hopped the fence and greeted fans after the concert that I went to. I'm actually just chilling on like the sidewalk waiting for your ride. And you see Lil Nas hopping the fence behind you. He's awesome. Oh, could talk about him all day. Now I may not have been able to meet Lil Nas X but at least I got to see him perform in person in front of me. Luckily though, I think Lil Nas knew it was my birthday, guys. Trust me. When we sat down, we had a row of seats in front of us that had a rolled up Lil Nas t-shirt in front of us. And for the majority of the show, no one like came back to clean the t-shirt. So I was like, I, I want it. I'm not gonna leave it there. I want to wear it. So I was like, let me wait till the show is done and see if someone comes and we will obviously return it. Well, no one came. So I took the shirt. This is the shirt. It's so cute. It's Lil Nas is a butterfly. As you can see, it literally doesn't fit me, but I'll sleep in it. I'll horseback ride in it. I'll do my, my daily needs. The back, can you guys see it? It has all his uh, tour locations that he's going to. Thank you, Lil Nas. You knew it was my birthday, didn't you? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope one day you guys get the opportunity to see him live. And if you did, tell me, comment down below what you loved about it. We'll talk about it, we'll discuss. <laughs> don't forget to turn on post notifications to see the next concert I go to. Stay tuned, I don't know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave comments everywhere. Have a blessed day, and long live Montero. <laughs> she does see the noises too, but I told her to hold off on that. <laughs>